All right, guys, you see that? 39 degrees. And for us here in California, in the Bay Area, that's cold. But we're going fishing. So here's the deal. I'm not sure if you can see anything. Probably can't. It's still dark out. Uh, it's, uh, let's see, 6.45. Um, the gates to this place open at 7, so we're all waiting in line here. I don't know if you can see that there. But, uh... We're waiting in line. Once we get in, we have to get our boat checked, our kayak checked. Alright, here we go. Alright guys, we made it out. We uh, passed the inspection. We're good to go. Now we're on lake. We're actually trolling already. So, we're going to be trolling for some trout today. We're here at Shadow Cliff Lake in Pleasanton. We're fishing right now with some grubs. Here's one of those, just a little curly tail grub. Two inch white, and uh, we're gonna be trolling around today. Let's see if we can get a bite. So, we're just gonna start off uh, since we have. I'm, really fish this place very often so it's not a huge lake um, but we're just gonna start off doing a quick or not a quick slow troll right around the edge just do a whole circle around the lake and see if we can mark some fish or if we can get bit obviously uh, we're just trying to find the fish at first so stay tuned hopefully we get bit fish just jumped right there they're taunting me so I'll uh, just give you an update. I actually trolled all the way around, all the way around the lake, pretty much. And uh, it's kind of funny, I got one hit on that corner and one hit on the opposite corner. So that doesn't really help me for finding where the fish are. One on each corner, but uh, it's a good sign. At least we're getting a few bites here. This one's getting bit. See if the fish takes it. There we go. Now we got him. Fish on! Oh, just jump. Shoot. Run out of line here. Feels like a decent fish. Just jumped back there. Finally, we had about three or four bites before we could even hook one up, which is kind of surprising. You usually don't miss that many fish when we're trolling like this, especially with these stalker trout. They're pretty dumb, to be honest. But finally got one to commit. I'm only using four pound test leader here, so we have to play them light. Plus, it makes it more fun. Not a giant, but looks like a decent fish. Right there on the top. It's a solid fish. Probably about two or three pounds, maybe. Let's see, Let's see if we can land him here. Bring him back this way. Position. Oh, maybe a little bit bigger than that. It's probably like five pounds actually. <laughs> I underestimated him at, the, at first. Ultralight, they fight real good. Slide into the net. There we go. Now we got him. Here's fish number one. That's that's a good fish. I said two or three pounds at first, but yeah, that's more like five to six pounds. <laughs> nice long, a little bit skinny, but a lo nice long fish. Let's get him on the stringer. 
I want him to somehow escape. I think this is bigger than uh, some of those salmon I caught this year. Here's our first trout for the day. Not a bad start, man. If we could get four more like that, we'd have a quality stringer here. I think it's probably about six pounds, would be my guess. Definitely not as pretty as the stream fish, but what you lack in uh, beauty, I guess, you get in size. Oh, snack time. Seems like the fish always bite when you're eating, so hopefully this can trigger a bite. Maybe they can smell the chocolate. Oh, fish on. I knew it. Once you start eating, I, they always bite when you start eating. I knew it. I even predicted it. As soon as you start eating, they always bite. I don't think this is the same size as the last one, but... Oh, well, starting to pull a little bit. I think you heard me talk some smack about him. Like I said, not the same size as our first one, but it's kind of hard to match that. But this one actually looks pretty nice. It's got full tail. This one's probably been in the lake a little while. Let's go ahead and net it. Don't want to lose this guy. There we go. Here's our two fish so far. A lot nicer looking fish this second one. It's got a nice full tail there. Close to that first one. Alright, back set up. Now I can finish my uh, snack where I was rudely interrupted by that fish. Two fish with one bar. Let's see. Alright, mid morning updates about 11 o'clock. Uh, I'm gonna stop fishing at 12 30 today, so I got about an hour and a half left. And I got these two, these two right here. One decent one, one good one, one okay one. One probably about six pounds, probably the other one's around two pounds or so. And uh, from what I hear from the other boats, the other kayaks around here, we're doing pretty good. So it sounds like it's been pretty slow for most people here. So, uh, gonna keep trolling around and hopefully we can get at least one more and uh, we'll see what we can do. Coming up on the area where I caught my last fish. So hopefully, hopefully there's more around. Oh, oh, fish on. Oh, almost lost my rod there. That was a close one. It's probably one of the smaller ones that we got today, but you know what? Can't complain right now. Oh, no, not bad. Oh, that's a nice fish. It's actually, I think it's bigger than the second one but smaller than the first one. I'm feeling this guy is not quite, not done yet. He's too big to come in that easy. I think these hatchery fish, they're not the strongest of swimmers, so sometimes you can have a big one on even though it's not fighting that much. Let that drag go. This guy's like a freight train, it's not stopping. Pretty good size.
almost got us on the prop there. That was a close one. Yeah, that's a solid fish. This is just as big as our first one, if not bigger. Oh shoot, we're wrapped around the edge. That is not good. All right, let's try and head him. Oh, that was close. We were wrapped around the end of our pole there, which would not have been good because our line would have snapped easily if this guy took off. All right, let's get him. Yeah, there we go. That is a solid fish. After further review, I thought when I had first hooked him, he was a small one because he was coming in pretty easy. But I take that back. He's a solid fish. Okay, now he's ours. That hook out right on the lip, just like all the rest of them. And there's our fish. Man, that's a nice fish there. Another five, six pounder. Just as big, if not bigger, than our first one. So there you have it. There's our three fish. Not a bad stringer so far. Probably about, I guess, around 15 pounds actually. Maybe a little bit under 13 to 15 pounds. Two real nice fish. One solid fish. We nearly lost that fish. I mean, we were like, I don't know how close, like seconds away from losing that fish. And that line wrapped around the tip of that pole, that could have been a disaster. We had two things almost have. We nearly lost that fish and we nearly lost my pole. When you catch a fish, especially these bigger fish, you gotta definitely really check your leader because with trout we're using really light lines so any nick in there will, uh, will be a weak spot and that's definitely, you don't, you definitely do not want that. But uh, this one looks pretty good. I think because he was hooked on right on the edge, the lip, uh, the line didn't graze against the teeth or the mouth, so I think we're doing all right. But definitely check it. I always check it, especially after catching a fish. Hey right, guys, 12:15. About 15 minutes left. We make one more pass through this way, and one last shot at a monster fish. And if that doesn't pan out, then we're gonna head in, hoping for that, you know, 15 pounder. We're gonna dream big on this one. If we get you a 15 pounder, I might just jump in the water. Ten minutes left. Let's see what Ish with fish is up to. Oh, 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 fish on. Sorry, Ish. Gotta talk to you later. This is that last one that we wanted. Alright, let's see. I don't want to guess the weight of this one. I've been wrong too many times already. Right, let's see. Well, not bad. Not as big as our uh, two bigger ones, but still a solid fish. Let's see. Now that I've seen it, I'll guess maybe two pounds. All right, let's go. Get in the net. Oh, there we go. Got him. Like I said, not as big as those last two, but we can't complain been spoiled today for a big fish so two pounder that'll do and that's our fourth fish all right guys it's gonna wrap it up for me today we're gonna end on that last fish another solid day out here on the kayak there's our four trout right there probably total weight i'm guessing like 16 17 pounds we got two five pounders and then two maybe two pounders so I'll go over the two setups. So one ultralight, I think this is a seven foot Shakespeare rod with a Shimano Sahara six pound test. And the other one is a Shimano Claris, uh, seven and a half foot, not, not ultralight, I don't know, this one's a little stiffer, it doesn't say here, but pair that one with the Shimano Sustain 2500, which probably don't need to go that high, but you know, it worked today, so. 
So that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.